Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to the concession stand here on the KB Radio Network. This is the review of the latest installment to the Saw franchise, the tent film in the Saw franchise entitled Saw X or Saw 10, however you want to name it. It's all good. This particular film in the Saw franchise is set between the events of the first two films, you know, right between Saw and Saw 2. So technically this is Saw 1.5. If you really want to uh, uh, categorize it or go in chronological order, this go around, we find John Kramer, who is Jigsaw, played once again by to- Tobin Bell. Uh, he travels to Mexico in hopes an experimental procedure may cure him of his cancer, later discovering the scam within the operation. As retribution, he kidnaps those responsible and subject them to his trademark death traps. As mentioned before, this film stars Tobin Bell and Shawnee Smith returning as Amanda Young. This is an awesome addition to the franchise. As the um as the franchise went on, and I mean there's ten films in it, but prior prior to this is nine. So you know that the quality probably would drip a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Going uh sequel to sequel. And it did. It it, it really started to nose dive and took a turn to uh really lean into the gore more than anything else and not really tell a compelling story as the first two films did oh, well i'll say the first three uh, yeah the first three it didn't really leaned into the body horror aspect of it all now this go around this was a return to form this was such a good film it told so much it it, it really uh made the character of John Kramer a little more sympathetic. If you weren't feeling sympathy for his character already, you, we all know that he was suffering from brain cancer and he was going through so much, you know, and Tobin Bell played him perfectly. Let's not forget, you know, this isn't your typical villain. So it's all right to feel sympathy for him. And the reason I say that technically Jigsaw has never killed anyone. He's never killed you. You know, he, he gave you the choice and he put you in these traps. But as far as physically killing somebody, he never did it, you know, but he did give you the option to choose life. You just had to cut off a foot or a leg or, <laughs> or, uh, cut open your stomach and get a key out or something to that effect, <laughs> you know, but at the end of the day, it is initially designed, at least the traps are you to live you just have to go through to get to and you can still sympathize with the character of john kramer and this go around you really do and tobin bell really gives his best performance as john kramer aka jigsaw in this film it was very very heartbreaking what he was going through you know what i'm saying as a character i i really loved how you could relate to his character even more uh in this installment of the franchise i love the addition uh addition of amanda young in this film uh her performance by uh shawnee smith loved loved it loved it It, this was also her best performance as amanda Uh, and returning to direct this film was kevin gertart who directed i think part six yeah, part six and um, uh, part seven. But aside from directing those two films, he has edited all of them. You know, he started off as an editor and he began with Saw 1 and went on from there. He edited all the films up to six when he d- turned over and went into the director's chair. And so he returns for this installment. And man, as much as the two previous films he directed in his franchise was very bloody and gory and all this here and leaned into the gore 
and those installments really uh, told the story of the Hoffman character, the detective uh, who is an apprentice of Jigsaw, which I wasn't a big fan of. It, this go around, he really showed how uh, much he has grown as a director. This film, I would say midway through it, really had a had shades of dare I say drama this was more of a drama than it was a horror film and when it gets horror it goes horror don't 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 trip it's still saw <laughs> that is not lost here but for the for a large portion of this film there was real drama man there was real uh 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 acting emotional beats everything was just clicking like 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 crazy in this film and i was like oh my god where where is this franchise going and i was loving it i wasn't mad no i wasn't mad at it at all you needed to do something different and they did something different as i said before this takes place uh after the first film and before the second film so this is a pseudo prequel of sorts um and it fits in perfectly. I, I really enjoyed this story. Uh, the con, the grift that was going on on all of these cancer patients that were being uh, uh, hustled into this quote unquote procedure that was going to cure them and giving up their life savings and, you know, going broke to, to, to do this procedure and it was all a con and people died uh after all of this and john was one of the ones who going off the advice of somebody he uh met in a uh, cancer support group uh decided to try this out you know and got conned and <laughs> they effed around and found out you don't mess with John Cream. <laughs> you don't mess with the jigsaw. It brought everybody involved from the taxi driver who drove him there all the way to the uh, quote unquote surgeon who performed this procedure. They got the issue. <laughs> they got it, bro. I mean, wow. And it was done great. There weren't any elaborate traps, there was nothing that I would say was just out of the box crazy because like i said this takes place early in the saw story you know and uh, he's still he's still trying to get his fooling footing with this jigsaw thing and so it wasn't perfect things wasn't perfect and they leaned into that a lot it it, it, it fit perfectly and i loved it uh I love the performances from the, our two leads, as I said before, Tobin Bell and uh, Shawnee Smith. Our other supporting cast, not so much. <laughs> not so much. Uh, they were decent, but their only job was to scream. And so it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't much of a, a, a scratch there for our supporting characters who were in these traps. Uh Aside from that, the ending was another uh, kind of a downer, even though it was satisfying in the sense that uh, we got justice against these scammers. But uh, I was hoping for a more climactic ending, and it didn't happen. Yeah, we got we got the ending that we got. I mean, it was all right, but I, I, I wanted more out of that ending, and it didn't quite get there. There's a post credit scene. If you haven't seen the uh, film, I'm not going to spoil it. But there's a post credit scene, which was cool. <laughs> the post credit scene was like, oh, man. okay, good, good, good. Because I thought that individual was going to get away with something, but it didn't happen. But, yeah, I, I did enjoy it for the most part. It is the second best Saw film in the franchise. I, I would want to say the best in the franchise, but that first one still is a classic. That first one was pitch perfect in my eyes. And so I don't think anything can touch it. But coming in at number two, 
will be Saw X. Saw X was a great addition to this franchise. And to say this is the 10th film in this franchise, that is awesome that they were able to find a way to keep this franchise interesting. And kudos to them. Kudos to Kevin Gertart, uh, uh, Tobin Bell, who has been playing this character for about, what, 20 years <laughs> and still doing an excellent job at it. Uh, all those involved in the production of Saw X. Excellent job. Saw X, which is currently in theaters, gets a letter grade of a B plus. I think it's, like I said before, the second best Saw film in the franchise. Really, really good job. I would like to know, have you checked out Saw X? Or do you plan to take, check out Saw X? I would love to know. Email the show, kbradiopodcast at gmail.com. You can also look me up on all social media platforms. Just look up the KB Radio Network. Don't forget about YouTube. Look for the KB Radio Network channel on YouTube. Subscribe and like this video if you don't mind. Also, don't forget about the five stars, the reviews, and sharing this show if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, wherever you may be listening to the concession stand here on the KB Radio Network. Everybody, thank you for joining me for this review of Saw X currently in a theater near you. Can't wait to speak to you again. Want you all to know that I love you. Continue to love everyone. And until we speak again, you all be blessed.